when I am done, and oh, my soul so weary, when troubles come, and my heart. Now, some do you dream? And they said, Yes, we dream. And that just blew my mind because I was thinking always that, you know, a person's face, a color, a shape is all that we need to actually dream. These people all dream with sound, with touch, with my voice. Uh, my wildest dream, I want to score in Paralympics. Okay, come on boys, come on, come on! Boys. The world's largest blind population is in India. So this project started as one of our uh, new age way of trying to rehabilitate the visually challenged. Like I just mentioned, we are part of this organization called Society for Rehabilitation of the Visually Challenged. This is an NGO started in 2002. In the 2016 Jan start. When I saw them, I friends with friends. It started in 2013 by a freak incident because I had a ball and there was a blind person and the, ball, the person said, you know, can you pass the ball to me? So I was like, how does a blind person even know that a ball is accessible or how can a person receive this ball? So I took the ball to him, he keeps the ball down, he takes a run up and he kicks this ball. The normal football and I was like amazed, how can a blind person kick it so well? He said he was sighted and then went blind. That hit me and then I researched on it and I found out that blind football exists in this world. I am late blind. Uh, since 2015 I was a low vision and after that I lost my full vision. Each ball cost 3,000 rupees. So accessing a ball was a challenge. So we used to take balls and then uh, there were instances where we went to remote areas where people didn't have boots or socks. They were playing with plastic bottles with sand inside because they used to listen to the ball and play. It was quite a challenge. And then since then we started distributing balls, shoes, boots, and now some of them are in the national team also. And when we go ground, when we play the India team, when we play the ground, we wear the Indian dress. So we're very happy that we're playing for India. Even with, I'm not even I'm not scored. Also, I was very happy to when I was playing for the uh, for the India. This game is completely specifically made for the Vishnu Challenge. This has got five people where regular football has got 11, out of which four are blinded, blindfolded and who are totally blind. And there's a sighted keeper, there's a sight coach and a goal guide who guides the, uh, the attackers. The, goal, the game rules of futsal and basketball is what we use, if you ask me. For the blind players, people who have played and who have gone blind, adapting it is difficult because you have to completely listen and the skills of listening and movement and intuition is used. Boy, 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 boy. That word called boy means I am here. It's a Latin word. It's, it's, it's been a part to say I am here. So if people know that you know you are with the ball, you are going to tackle or attack. So as soon as you have the ball, you keep quiet. While the people who don't have the ball, listen to the ball, attack the ball and say this word called boy. My favorite player is Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, I read about Ronaldo. He had a surgery, heart surgery. In the age of 15, and I got a, I had a kidney surgery in 2011 when I was nine years old. So I relate with Ronaldo, and I started blind football.
This isn't just a sport. This is their passion. This is also a gateway to their life, their sport and a recognition. बस मैं फैमिली का मेरा अभी तो कंडीशन ज़्यादा अच्छा नहीं है क्योंकि वो गांव में रहते हैं और मम्मी पापा अभी मजदूरी करते हैं कैप्टन ऑफ द टीम किलिंग्स एंड मारक आई मीन हिज फैमिली वाज नॉट सपोर्टिंग यू आई नो ही वाज इन अ काइंड ऑफ इट वाज काइंड ऑफ अ रिहेबिलिटेशन होम लाइक एन ऑफनेज from where we met him and um, he was a very wild person like he was frustrated in life itself but we use we channelize that energy because he was tough he's our iron man of india we still remember a success story where india goes to japan we played it was snowing and killing scored the goal and uh, india won that game and like all of us were crying that yeah and that even the constituent members who watched us were so टचड विद दिस मैं खेलने के लिए आता हूं और मैं जब आगे बढ़ना बहुत आगे बढ़ना चाहता हूं और आगे बढ़कर मेरी फैमिली और मतलब अंदर अंदर लोग जो लोग हैं अपने इंडिया में तो जितनी हो सके इतनी मैं हेल्प करना चाहता हूं सभी को कि मेरे से जितनी हो सके इतनी मैं हेल्प करूंगा सोशल वर्क So the quick answer is we haven't got any help from the government. Um, I know that the government will come knocking, and they are talking to us. But they always, always base themselves on some measure like, do you will you win, win a medal for India, or what will happen to blind football? If sir, we get support, then we can fund, organize, then we can do everything. Sir, we can do everything. If we get support, then we can do everything. Government, so, anyone, any player, any player. Like I mentioned, sport in India is extremely difficult to make it a commercial viable option. So, uh, for the blind, what we have done is we made a holistic academy. So, we go across the country, scout for talent, bring them to one centre, give them full-time training of in football, and after giving them training in football, we give them jobs through vocational skilling. Now, that is a really tough thing because uh, convincing an employer to employ a blind person in India is extremely difficult when you have no jobs for the regular people. We want them all to be self-reliant. Rather than look at them like with charity or compassion and say, "Hey, you're a blind man, so let me give you some thing." No, they play, represent the country, and get jobs. Why, why? Why, 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 why? We are the Blind Boys.